Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to create a permission set group in Salesforce. This is a new release as of spring 2020, and it's a really awesome feature that I want to show you guys. So from here, let's go ahead and jump into the setup. So permission set groups is a way to join more than one permission set in, into one, I guess, classification or for a lack of a better term group. So then it's easier to assign them out to your users. So let's go ahead and look at what we have as far as our permission sets. In a quick find up here, we're going to go permissions and then permission sets. So for our example today, I want to create a permission set group for permissions that we will give to new users at our company for more of an onboarding uh, permission set group. So the two that we'll be adding are the create leads and the create opportunities permission set. So from here, we're going to go to permission set group. So you can put permission here, permission set, permission set groups and then just click on it. Um, and then over here, we're going to go to new permission set group. Um, and let's label this new employee permissions. And as for description, uh, you don't need to necessarily put a description, but I'll put one as um, permissions for our new employee at the company and then click save. Okay, so the permission set was created and now we need to um, add permissions to this group. So let me actually go back and I'll show you what I clicked on. I went to permission sets in this group, which is just one of the first things when it comes to permission sets. And then go to add permission set. And here you can click multiple, you can click one, add them. I suggest clicking multiple. We're going to go again, create opportunities because we want our new employees to be able to create their own opportunities. And we also want them to create leads. So, which I've set these up prior to coming into this org today. So let's go ahead and click add. And then they were added, let's click done. All right, so now you can see that these are now added into our permission set. And from here, you can go to manage assignments. And then you can add assignments and it'll bring up your list of users for you to add to the permission set. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe uh, to the channel. It really helps out the channel, and I can create more videos like this that are helpful for Salesforce admins. Thanks. Bye.